Come on, start already. Get started. As soon as I say start already, that's when it starts. It's like, hey, start already. Guess what? We awkwardly caught you on YouTube live saying start already. <laughs> anyway, for anybody watching, Lord. Now we're in the future. This is building character numero six. Basically, we're going to draw some characters, hang out, chill. Uh, anybody in the future watching, I keep the Q&A open so you can hop into the Q&A and any uh, building character or Mappa Mappa, chat, chit chat, comment, do this, do that. Anyway, you see this face? You don't want to look at this face. You want to look at Brian right over there. Uh, yeah. Or possibly you might want me to screen share so you can actually look at some character creation. So, on screen, I've been working on a, you know, Brian knows, Brian's one of my, one of my alpha testers, and he's been very kindly uh, abusing the hell out of me as far as proofreading, so he knows all about <laughs> what I'm about to do, and this is just um, some concept art for the book that I'm, I'm going to uh, bring to a more finished state, like that little sucker right there. Uh, I was about to start drawing without anybody, and I had to hold off. So I already pulled the sketch to that side. <laughs> so now I get to draw. And so shall Brian. Brian, what are you about to, to hook up today? I don't know what I'm going to draw. I'm just going to be... Opposite. If this screen sharing thing is going to work for me because normally it doesn't work. It used to work, but you see any of my drawings? No? No, nah, it's coming up blank. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, it, it's always that, it's, it's that dang, watch him, I call it. Uh, it's Hangouts, man. Like, you can't really share a window. You have to share the whole, uh, the whole screen, really. Like, that's, that's how I get to share. I share the entire freaking screen. See it now? Yeah, let me tab back over. Yes, sir. This one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the endless pantheon characters. You guys were doing some crazy stuff then, huh? I don't know about all that. That's what it did not the last week, but it did this very issue. I like the way you drew your character. Like he looks he's got that rocky that rocky look. Yeah. Darkonius is about us. You know, in uh, Saturday morning tabletop sizes categories, you'll know, probably be colossal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He probably would be. This is freaking Garconius. Demigods and stuff. But Garconius is a demigod, so like. Oh, you forgot. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got Last them. time we played, you 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 guys made your your deified status. Yeah. But Nick could no longer be a guest. Yeah, unfortunately. Let me see. Oh. Drawing an uh, an an elven version of Wildor. 
Because we all know how he just can't keep the same form. Yeah. These, these dang changelings. So has Josh completely changed character again? Yeah, well, I very much feel that uh, Sir William Gold will indeed be the last character uh, for him right now. That's his, his uh, favorite character currently. So we're getting Elfie. I should have put those editing pages. Look at all this. Look at all those editing pages. <laughs> those are those are almost as many uh, pages as I actually have. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, after um after Mappa Mappa, uh, later today I'm I'm gonna get up on all those edits. Cause that's almost. Uh, I mean, we're almost done with the edits. That's why I got to work on the character art and get the final touches of mm -hmm. this character. Because that's 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 going to be the only thing left to do in that book. Yeah, because they're important. Have you got a? Uh, have you got a uh, cover for the villain section? Cover for the what? No way, uh, a, a art cover for the villain section. Which, wait. How come when you say that, like the volume dips on my on my thing? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the the full pages, uh, I still have yet to do. Yeah, that's the full page. Yeah, but I still I, have yet to, to work with the uh, the the gear and the evildoers. Uh, how to play the game still needs a full page cover for that section. Mm -hmm. I'm working on right now. I just decided to work on some of these. If I can get one one or more of these done, because I could knock these out faster than a full page cover with multiple characters yeah because you know it's a single character so when I, I get a little bit more of these done that just means I'm finishing more of the book mm -hmm. but I'm being a uh, funny about it because I've done um I'm already a uh, about a half dozen pages into Let's Get Dangerous, so. Oh, about, a, about a half dozen pages into book number two. <laughs> I think it's up there for me. I think it's up there for me. I was aiming for uh, 50 pages. But, um, with, with all the response of, I have, uh, repeating some of the uh, evildoers so that, you know, for ease of reference, it, it may end up being more. Um, I'm hoping not, like, with the, the size of the fonts and everything that I'm using, it looks like it might be 25-ish pages. And I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. If I can keep it nice and small, you know, a small little update. I've got, um, I made two new beast blood feeds for that. Yeah. I've got a beast blood grizzly for a grizzly bear. I've got beast blood tiger for a were tiger. And I've also got a new background called raised by animals. So basically, it'll let you get a, a Beast Blood feat for free as part of the background feature. Oh, that'd be cool. That's like okay. So, you know, imagine like if you were to remake Grimrock and <laughs> Beast Blood Grizzly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
That would just, well, not, be that would just not be good for evildoers. Uh, especially if it was more intelligent and aggressive Grimrock. Oh, what? No, Grim, what Grimrock wants is that Crow Magnon feet. Yeah. Oh, he can. That's why he was away from Martin's training. <laughs> <laughs> Getting whooped by the brownie. Oh, the mini Yeti. <clears throat> Yeah, for uh, for our one viewer now, and anybody that decides to watch in the future, three viewers now. Okay, y'all all just sort of jumped in. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's the actual Saturday morning tabletop game that I've uh, been creating. Most of my games I've been uh, lately offline, but yeah, that's uh, Brian's character Grimrock, who's a, a Yeti. <laughs> oh, it's just great. That cam pressure's not working. That really sucks. Oh, man. I had to actually uh, cold boot my system because it stopped recognizing my driver. I don't know why, but every so often, it just forgets that the drivers for the tablet are installed, and it just yeah. stops working. Yeah, I get that. That's... It sucks. I was gonna do this character. Today. Yeah, which came, which was coming out really fucking, really nice. You know, and I was gonna do some line work with it and do some coloring, but this is this is a very ah, it's a video. But the lad, the cramp pressure is not working, and I have a couple of do a new thing which would be confused on this laptop. So I think I'll just do something else. Do you have any questions? Um, let me let me go over. We got three viewers now. There's nothing in the chat. You know, y'all could y'all could talk to us. I mean, I need more friends. I don't have enough friends in my life. I need more. I need. To Need some feedback. We have any questions, requests, comments? What's up, people? What's up? An over baggy robe. It's the height of high fashion and majory. Let's turn that off. You know what? I forgot to save. No, not let's get dangerous. Not core rules. PSD illustrations. There we go. Yeah. Just likes to give you trouble, huh? It does. Some people are made of wakons. Is that a little? That's not a little too thick. That's good. Oh, wait. I got the fire. That's probably too thick. This is a magic guy. Yeah, this is where... Um, the, this is this one, this concept. Will oh, surrounded yeah. by uh, the dancing flame. I remember that drawing. What you see is true love. What you see, what you see, is what you get. 
You ready for tomorrow, man? Was Grimrock still going to be training in the mountaintops tomorrow? <laughs> oh, well, if I come moved or whatever, he probably will. He's got his little, uh, little rocky scene going. <laughs> I almost wish... I should have recorded that so you could actually, so you could have actually seen uh, all the little Rocky references I was making. <laughs> Brownie was like, "Push, push it." Yeah, that would be cool. Did they? Where did they get to you? Um. You saw the part where where they got uh, attacked by the bandits, right? They basically they got the bandit boss to run away, and they managed to uh, get a prisoner, the mage, that showed up. Hey, Nabbit. The bandit mage that showed up and Sir William Gold is uh like befriending her now oh. showing her magics and stuff she's basically giving up the, ba the last known uh, bandit location I'm telling you I need like more desk space so I could like lay this tablet flat over here, like doing acrobatic moves to get my arm in the right position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't multitask. <laughs> these things. Dong 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 dong. Dong 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 dong. Dong 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 dong. Well, what we have here is the height and mage fashion. It is a long, oversized, billowing robe. Because mages do not like to wear... Mages like to wear nothing but bath robes and nightgowns. So we decided... To give them what they like. Especially changeling mages, whose size always changes. Especially Gwildor, who likes to turn into a Yeti, even though he's a gnome. Are you just are you just watching me? I'm trying to uh, sort out of my drawing here. I was actually just, I just switched around there to see what you were talking about, actually. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. I'm in a quandary because my mate Pam fresh is not working, so I just have to try it. What to do? What to do? Oops. I should have put it with contiguous. So we select to modify. We need to contract it by two pixels. Then we go to the flat layer, fill it in. I like could make it kind of grayish instead of this pure block. So it's a grayish layer. Erase the extra stuff that I don't want. 
Pong, 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 pong. Make sure this silhouette is all right. It looks all right to me, doesn't it? I think so. It's just that one, that two pieces, the second piece of the hair right there. Because when you start getting all spiky, turn on Wildar. I need to bring in the other Wildar for reference, color reference. Bung, 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 bung. What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's put him over there for now. These last stages should be easy. It's the concept and stuff. Concepts and stuff that gets a little, a little maddening. What's your favorite part? Was that? What's your favorite part of the like, character's inception or like creative feedback? No, I didn't say creative feedback. What did you say? I said, what's your favorite part? What my English reading? Just so much. I don't know. Ah, what happened to my... Oh, okay. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> All right. You don't, did you not understand the question? No, no, I don't, because you keep... <laughs> your, bro, your voice kept breaking up at the same word. Oh, Okay. Probably, probably too many programs on at once here or something. Yeah, yeah. The the wonders of, you know, Google Hangouts isn't. I I don't know. It just eats up more memory than it should. You know, I've got the chat open, so if you want to type it in chat, so I actually know what the question was. Your voice don't cut down and type in. You know it'd be funny <laughs> if the chat just happened to stop working. Oh, speaking about chat. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn asked, "What's the name of the system?" The name of the system is Saturday Morning Tabletop. Um. It's using the. Uh, the fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons OGL. It's basically uh, the simplest way to describe it is Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons cranked up to eleven. Whatever that means. It, you know the player empowerment. You know what it is. What do you mean? Whatever that means. You're playing a Yeti, a freaking wrestling Yeti. All right. You know. You I we had a changeling that. evoker, all right, that that he just changed into you, his version of you, which is pretty insane. Um, Ace Blade Man uh, was basically wielding, dual wielding buster swords. So, you know, definitely crank up to 11. Uh, name of the system... Not sure if they even see chat. Oh, yeah, I see chat now. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Um, Actually, the mages do have steel armor, the war wizards. I'm just going to keep this, this open. The war wizards can wear uh, heavier armors and actually shields. They um, they get to the they they as they level up, they eventually get the ability to use their swords as an arcane focus. And as long as they have a shield in their hand, they do not require any somatic components. With that said, I also completely redesigned the magic system for Saturday morning tabletop. 
and it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's a bit it's a bit wonderful. Nobody lacks for damage. We got dancing flames, explosions. Wildor blew up a building the other game. And he's like only level, he was only what, level three or level four at the time? All levels at the time. Yeah, but yeah, see, y'all went off on your own. You were wrestling giant wolves. Warder was wrestling the town guard away from him, or at least the one female town guard. <laughs> the obsessive stalker he has. I don't feel sorry for Warder whatsoever to get. I'm the I help them and everything. Uh, that was all me. He brought it to himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he brought it down on himself. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he missed the fight. And y'all came back all beat up. He was like, yeah, I, I saved them. Yeah. <laughs> and then he made all his bluff. Everybody started, you know, they believed them. I was like, oh, well. And then he just had to push it. Now he has the Warder fan club. <laughs> and then he jumped in front of that lightning bolt for the... For the for his stalker. What's her name? She doesn't have a name currently, and no one asked. So I never gave her a name because no one asked, and you asking now doesn't count. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask tomorrow. Don't give Hassan any any uh any ideas. He doesn't want to know her name. Nobody in game has actually asked her her name. That might actually be funny. <laughs> Nobody actually knows who she is. She's just that girl Warder saved. Like that's all you guys know. Yeah. Isn't that the girl he took the lightning bolt for? Yep, that sure is her. What's her name? I, I don't know. I'm not gonna <laughs> ask her. <laughs> I better hurry. I mean, Mega Bolt, that was pretty, that was a brazen attack. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. Mega Bolt is not a, I mean, he's an evil doer for a reason. They don't call them evil doers because they're, you know. Misunderstood. Oh, is, it, is it the animals that and things like that are the misunderstood? Is that it? What happened? Did I cut it again? Yeah, I heard. Um, is it the animals that? And then I didn't really hear much. Animals and creatures are the misunderstood. So misunderstood monsters. Yeah. They're uh, they're listed as evildoers for the most part because they're kind of mindless, they're territorial as animals are. All right, there we go. We got the flat colors. Da 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 da. -da. Da, 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 da. I was looking on the corner. What do you think of this, Nelson? Oh, yeah, I got to I gotta go back over. Yeah, I saw when you put that up before. Which is kind of crazy. Like, a guy whose head whose head is actually a bunch of balloons with a bunch of different faces. Yeah. That's that's bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them is blowing the hell up. I might have to fix the top part of that. Stuff. 
That could make a cool villain. It could, definitely. It could definitely make a cool villain. I gotta actually turn this back on real quick. Let me just. I've been typing so much on my keyboard lately, it's actually starting to wear off. All right. Da, 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 da. Why is... That should be only for there. I <laughs> 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 Ay, 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 ay. I don't know the rest of that song, but whatever. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> probably a good thing. <laughs> what about that uh what's his name song? Uh uh Criminy. Forget his name already. Um Ah, he was an LMFAO. As long as you could be my new thing. You could be my new thing. Da, da, da. No, this is not a deity. This is this is actually based off of one of the Alpha Testers player characters. The character you see on, on screen that I'm drawing. Um, there's a, a spell dancing flame. So I'm just illustrating him with the dancing flame dancing around him. Um, there's a, a spell dancing flame. So I'm just illustrating. Why, why am I hearing myself talk? Sorry, that was me. <laughs> that you're trying to bug me? Like, seriously, bug me out. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to sabotage you now, so you know. I'm here to give you more. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, LA, um, the comment about the god was when Brian was cycling through his pictures, uh, there was a picture of a bunch of gods that were drawn. Because I ran a campaign where they started off as demigods and actually achieved their godhood during the uh, during uh, the last session that we ended up playing. There we go. There's it up. All right, let me let me share that. We have our characters. I was Garconius. He was the god of the earth and um, fire. Vermut, the other one here, looks like a girl. <laughs> 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 That's the. Uh... What the hell was he? The god of beauty or something? Or... He was. He was the. He was a god of getting it on. But not like. A... Like party getting it on, he was the god of like procreation and love. Oh, yeah. He was like selfish and vain at the same time. Yeah, and you fucked with him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> because we were playing, we were playing fate. Okay, it was fate, gods, and monsters. And fate has the compel mechanic, and he just kept letting me compel him. Yes, which was quite funny actually. Um, the center here is this strange. Rog man Kai beast thing. That was Nick's character. Um, I can't remember what his name was. Do you remember it, Austin? The name? Uh, I have problems remembering the names. But. I know Luke was character was called ben, Benute. I remember uh, he was badass. Like one of his things was Sin Eater and. All this other, all this other craziness. 
Yeah, and he could uh, do a lot of things with his, uh, his milk that he could. Oh, oh, oh. He would milk himself, and that was ambrosia. Ambrosia, that was it. It was, it was crazy. The only name I really remember is Teo Takala. <laughs> That's your character. <laughs> but it's the thing that I made. So that kind of doesn't count. Wrong list. Yeah. Wrong. Um, actually, Saturday Morning Tabletop is a power is more or less a power campaign too, except the way that I'm designing it, the uh, enemies can be ex extraordinarily powerful as well. So everybody can have fun. You can throw your evil GM hat on, and nobody can complain. This small little eraser. I don't know if you can hear them sawing into the concrete of the street. Sorry if you can. What the um the fake game? I mean, they, they, they didn't go up against orcs. It was Stone Age. Uh, the endless pantheon setting that I, that I made for them was a Stone Age setting. And the idea was that there was one, like, major like, super god. Like, he was going to be the one god of the setting because he was the most powerful. But there was a, a monster called the Eater. And the Eater was literally eating the bodies of gods and gaining their powers and uh, the monster reclaimed uh like a deified nature but he ate this one god and he's a sloppy eater so the the fragmented body parts of the god fell to the world i believe i named the world askinda and the demigods of the world were what was left. So the players were sort of partial reincarnations of this powerful god, and they were reclaiming their power. So as they, as they went along in the campaign, that was the reason they got stronger. Now, if you're talking about Saturday morning tabletop, they haven't faced orcs yet because I haven't designed the orcs. And yeah, when I say design, I mean I'm building creatures and enemies to combo off each other. Um, me in general, I 20 something years I've been gaming for. I've been running, I've been uh, DMing for almost just as long. You never seen who work with uh, fluidity. Oh, for anyone that might be watching this video in the future, uh, the Q and A is open. There's a chat open. I'm just replying to chat questions. If you if you feel confused, you should have joined us. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember the year I started. It's all kind of a blur. I do know that I was born for it because I remember – I don't even remember my first character, right? But I remember the first instance of me playing, and I joined the campaign, and everyone in the campaign, like in the world in which we were in, they were all uh, bounty hunter type people, right? And – they were hunting rat men. The, you know, the land was plagued by rat men. So you would get, a, you know, a number of gold coins for the head of every rat man you brought in. Woo! Yeah, so, um, 
So, like, that was one part. Then the other part of the problem in the campaign was that the players were asked to figure out why there's this, like, cursed disease, right? There's this disease that just seems to be plaguing the people of the land. And uh, they were playing this campaign for a, for a while. And here I come, Mr. Nobody. I've, I've never really played these games before. And I'm like, wait, what? You're, you're selling rat heads? What do you do with the heads when you get them? And they're like, yeah, we, uh, we bury them out here. And I'm like, where is that exactly? Oh, that's next to your water supply? That's why you're fucking getting sick. Because <laughs> the rats are decomposing into your water supply. And the DM was like, "All right, you gain ex you gain all this experience, <laughs> level up." <laughs> and I was like, "Yep, okay, I'm, I was born for this." But to my dismay, that that is how most people play. Like, you know, certain certain uh, if when you got to think outside the box, I find that there's a lot of people that. I don't know if it's because they're not comfortable or they're not used to it, but that outside the box thinking doesn't get uh, doesn't happen as much as I think it should. I mean, personally, you know, do you know what I'm saying? You gotta think outside the box, people. The box is square. I know it's three dimensional, but. Hell, you may you roll more than just square dice. You got octagonal, pentagonal, dodecahedrons. Can't just think inside the box. That's like saying I'm gonna play Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm only gonna use a D6. That's just not gonna fly. Oh, and to comment on the uh the deified mechanic, I think Fate did it really well with uh, Gods and Monsters. Because in Gods and Monsters, you can gain an infinite amount of power. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is, once you've gotten too much power, you can become a monster and thus lose your character as an NPC. Yeah, that nearly happened to Nick and me. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you know, there's ways to mitigate that. By um, you know, shunting your power outwards into the lands forcibly, but doing so actually contorts and perverts the land. So I think that's cool, you know, all that little extra, extra stuff. You could be my new thing. You know, I always find that with this style of art, the parts that take the longest aren't the inking and aren't the coloring. It's the line work. It's the uh, it's con it's concepting the line work, and then doing the cell shading. Especially dependent on how many folds you put <laughs> in the in the clothing. Too many damn folds in here. You're gonna be shading forever. Oh yeah, you're shading. You're cell shading. What exactly? What are you doing? I'm cell shading, dude. No. That's, what that's are you doing? Let's let's explain to our viewers what are you doing here. How are you achieving this look? Oh, okay. Yeah, shading is 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 difficult. Cell shading is probably one of the easier ways to shade. Um, what I'm doing uh, particularly is that I'm getting a cool color, which is um, it's a a very pale light blue, and uh. Coastlines are well. Actually, um, at four o'clock, this is uh when this hangout's gonna end. I'm gonna take a one-hour break, 
And at 5 o'clock, I'm going to actually start uh, Mappa Mappa, which is the same as this, only instead of drawing creatures and characters, we're drawing maps. So yeah, I do maps too, my friend. I have fun with them. And close lines, I guess, could be a, a pain in the a pain in the butt. Now, by by classical um, LA, do you mean like that Tolkien sort of esque sepia ish toned stuff? Bang. Nelson, for your cell shooting there, you're setting at the 60 opacity. Oh yeah, 60% opacity. The layer is set to multiply. Um, what I do is that I put a mask uh, on the layer so I don't paint outside the lines. Yes. And I just use a cool blue. A pale cool blue. Okay. But if I were to change it to normal at 100%, that's the actual color that I'm using. I see. And this is the same the pale blue is the same color that you used for all shooting and stuff. That's why it looks like a different color am i right it's yeah the because it's on multiply you hear that yeah yeah you're, you're asking why does it look like a different color on each uh the cell shading looks a little bit different on each on each different color right yeah the reason is that it's on uh, multiply so let me just save that blue color and let's go to a red Right now, this is red. This is just red. Mm -hmm. You see how I drag it over everything? Yeah. Put it back to 100% opacity. And you see how it, it, it reacts with each color differently? Yeah. That's because of the multiply layer. Oh, I see. Yeah, I never do that method. So that's the Yeah, I know you, you're, you paint your shades in. Yeah. I know. I like that method. It's just the uh, the art direction of uh, this particular book that I want to go. I like like that simple. It's it's simple enough without being completely simple. Yeah. Mapronomicon. <laughs> the what? Mapronomicon. That's LA's Facebook. Uh, page. Do a quick search for Map Room on Art of the Ooh. Oh my gosh, you hand draw this? You are mad. Hand draw what? I can't I can't talk crap. I can't talk crap. I, I I'm a bit mad myself. Yeah, I saw the picture of the world, the the wall map. Like I'm a, I, I do, I try to stick with digital for uh, practicing purposes. But I, I do a lot of traditional sketching and, and drawings. Um, as well, and I'm, I feel that I'm better traditionally, with I mean traditionally, I'm better with traditional medium. Is what I meant to say. Well, it's more looser, for one thing. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to get the effects that you want. You you know, it's in front of you. You, you have a, a better feel for it and stuff. Like, but I've been painting. I've been painting more with digital more. So so, for me to go back and do watercolors and to get the look that I want to achieve with it, I'll have to do. Uh, have to practice a lot with that again. Well, it's, it's with any method of art. I mean, if you don't practice, you'll forget the techniques that you've learned. Yeah. So. 
a DM with a creation spark need to have a touch of madness. Yes, yes, my friend. I believe we do, and I have more than a touch myself. Yeah, even in seeing person. <laughs> <laughs> For one, I think everyone should be friends and work together. That's that's a pretty insane notion. Gamers joining joining hands. I shouldn't even say gamers, party members. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna shade this for now. But ultimately, I need to just, you know, have this react more according to how it's supposed to react to the lighting source. Mm. I have to try your cell shading something. <laughs> yeah, I like I like drawing maps. Uh, Mostly because, like in the in the traditional method, the map drawing is mostly for a meditative purpose. You know, you get that nice. Oh, I'm gonna put. You know what? This is a bit far north. I think. I think I'm gonna put fjord here. Uh, one fjord is not. A, let's have a few fjords. Yes, a few fjords. A few fjords in the north. Damn, I think in the fire it shouldn't be any shading at all. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer off just to uh play around. Use the lasso tool instead. Yeah, you 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 mentioned like like how I'm using the lasso tool before. Yeah, because you don't like use the lasso tool for map making. No. And no. this, this is this is pretty much because like when I used to do a, a little bit of stuff in the comic booking thing, the comic booking scene, a lot of the coloring was actually done with lasso tool back back there. Yeah, circular gradients, lasso tool. Because you party out of sight, party, party out of sight. Don't, 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 Rock your body. Rock that body. Rock that body. Rock your body. Rock that body. This is looking really scary. Uh, is this Gwildor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this Gwildor is scary. This, <laughs> this Gwildor is scary? Yeah. This Gwildor is like, I don't care what I am, I'm going to, where, where I am at the minute, I'm going to put it on fire. Yeah, well, he did, he does blow stuff up and wall willy-nilly like. <clears throat> yeah, Josh just like, yeah, Gw no, it's, it's Gwildor, Gwildor got to him. Role playing Wildor. Now we gotta now we gotta deal with Sir William Gold. Sir William Gold. Why yes. He happens to be Sir William Gold, Wear Tiger indeed. He's a Wear Tiger and Mage extraordinaire. War wizard to be in fact. Trick. In fact, to be as accurate as it can, he must be called a war wizard because he is indeed a war wizard. 
Always it are not to be trifled with as they wear armor and like to uh, swing around pointy things, much in the way as fighters. You know, I thought I was gonna. I, I thought I was gonna be able to manage two uh, drawings. Cell shading. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cell shading is like if I do the cell shading really fast and not care about it, maybe. But no. Nah. I know the the fire in front. It shouldn't be shaded, but should I shade it? I shouldn't shade it. No. <laughs> I think it looks effective the way you do. Yeah, by the way, thank you very much, LA. Much appreciated. But yeah, your map, I, I just gave, gave that quick look. And there's just like a hundred million papers all taped together to make a world map on a wall. That's insane. I, I, I like that insanity. I do. It, it makes me feel a little bit more normal, you know? Let's see. I mean, if that's if this is pretty much done, yeah, I guess that's ready to put in the book, right? What's that piece that see over here? All right, hold on. Let me uh look at my back. look at my screen. See this little bit here? Yeah. Where I'm pointing out what is that a piece of a cloak? Oh, that's actually a piece of his robe underneath. Well, maybe see if you turn the fire off, you see his robe. Uh, maybe that, maybe take that off. That, uh, that my friend is, is a fairly easy fix. Uh, boom, just to hit up the mask, and go that's the cut masking in color. You throw a mask on the lines, throw a mask on the lines. You dang thing then a mask on the outline area okay that gets rid of that that's fine yeah that's fine that side's fine all right rock your body rock your body rock your body see the, the tip of the thing Yeah, you're. I don't know what happened. Like you're not Megatroning right now, but it sounds like you're tin canning. Me? Yeah. Really? Kind of. It's like going back and forth. Oh. Yeah, it's it, my 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 very little top laptop cannot handle uh, Photoshop and <laughs> uh, this same time. Just. Not Yeah, I got tin drawn. Uh, turn that off. Save this as a PNG so I could put it in the book later on. Gwildor! Gwildor the Mad! Is Gwildor a human? Is Gwildor an elf? Is Gwildor possibly? An orange yeti. No. Indeed, Gwildor is all those things because he is a changeling. <laughs> I'm bugging out. Let's see. I got about another hour. I should be able to fit a little bit of something else in. So let's uh, open up a new file. Boom. Open up a new file. That's the new remix right there. 
instead of uh, you could be my new thing. Open up a new file. Boom, 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 put up. Put up, boom, 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 put up. Which one of these should I draw now? Should I draw the other Gwildor? This one? I got I the uh, the fire yelling like yelly Gwildor. yeti. Huh? How many Gwildors do you need? I put them all in the book. The uh, the human Gwildor, the elf Gwildor, and the yeti Gwildor. All except oh. Gwildor's actual form, which will make which will remain secret. <laughs> I think I want to do this. I do want to do the other Gwildor. That's it's a nice, I don't know, nice picture. Turn the well, we turn all that off. But where's the line work? Where's the line work? Where's the line work? We shall use that as structure. Wow. Wow. I almost finished this. What the hell? This is this is pretty much finished. Oh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I accidentally finished this pretty much. How'd you accidentally do that? I don't know, because it doesn't look much like a sketch. Hey, it doesn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A little bit larger, a little smaller than that. But can you get the magic blast in? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll just expand the uh I'll expand the canvas afterwards. Um, the, the magic blast is mostly just uh, layer effects and whatnot. Magic blasts are done. It's the uh, actual illustrations that need to be uh, finished up. Uh, cool. See, I'm gonna, let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing, uh, LA. You see how the robe is a little bit more tight on the Yeti? Because the Yetis are uh, the larger creature. And halflings are medium sized. So it's like heavy billowing and everywhere. That way when he transforms into the Yeti, it'll stretch and uh, he won't be like naked or wearing a tutu. Yeah, something like the Hulk, he still keeps his pants. Yeah. Now actually the the Hulk movie with uh, I believe his name is Edward Norton. That was like my favorite one ever. Because when he was looking for those pants and they gave him perfect uh, purple pants, he was like, make sure it's stretchy. That was great. And yes, Yetis are ape-like. <laughs> because telephones ring in the background very loudly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could be my new pick. You could be my new thing. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> He's a mage. He's an evoker mage. A naked evoker mage is not a good thing. Unless he has a feet. Yeah, unless he has the sparkling pex feet. Which actually, yeah, you know what? But see, so here's the thing. He made Gwildor when the rule set was still in the alpha. Yeah. And I released the sparkling pex feet in the first stage of the beta. So he wouldn't have he wouldn't have even known about the feet. But yeah, that would have been funny. Be like that song. Get, get naked. It's getting hot in here. 
So I'm going to transform into something that makes my clothes tear off. It's the new re that's the new corny remix. I am getting so hot. I am going to hulk out. Oh, here's the thing. I don't want to put the actual outlines line down. Let me just do that so I can see where to stop. I'll stop there. Oh, you know what I'll do? We're gonna we're gonna get a little funky with it. So we'll do the, we'll do this right here. Right. Throw a little flat layer. We'll contract. Modify, contract by two pixels. It just looks better that way. Fill it up. Oops, I messed up. Okay. Forgot to select this as well. Oh. Okay, come on. Yeah, that section and that section. Invert the selection. <laughs> I'm Mr. Funny Guy. Actually, that's a pretty thick line. Contract about three. We need that, like, that Popeye sort of Robin Williams Popeye. What a whale, what a whale. I can't do it. I can't do it, but I like it. You know what I'm saying? Let me just erase this little bit. It's unnecessary. What a wild, what a wild. So everything is cool. Okay. Let me save this because, you know. Yes, yeah, save it. Yeah, losing work accidentally because you didn't save is is heartbreaking. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's like, see, LA, the the equivalent of a digital artist losing work because they forgot to save or didn't save enough is is just about as heartbreaking as when you're inking a piece of artwork traditionally, and the pen just. For no reason, blotches and ink spills out of it. It's one of those. Oh. Actually, it's worse because you could salvage that. A little bit of white out, maybe incorporate it to the design. <laughs> but yeah, it's bad. It is bad. Yeah, like it's losing work because you don't save is worse than the ink splotching thing. Because, you know, you're right. You can salvage it at least a little bit. There's still something left to salvage. I, I, the analogy should be not saving your artwork and losing everything you've done is like when you're carrying your artwork that you've drawn traditionally to show somebody to accidentally trip, fall, and drop it onto a lit stove and watch it burn in flames. I think is a more accurate analogy. That is so bad. Tripped, fell, and burnt all of your artwork. So not cool. Well, okay, okay. Even if your art is stolen, at least it exists in the world, you know? 
you can still hold on to the hope that maybe somewhere, somehow, you can see your artwork once again, right? <laughs> Not if you don't save it. It's gone forever. You'd be like, how many steps of, of, of undo, undo do I have? Is it in, did I accidentally delete it? Is it in my trash bin? Oh no, I emptied my trash bin yesterday. <laughs> oh, it's bad. You're right. It's not soul crushing. It's spirit. It's not heartbreaking. It's spirit crushing. Oof. I shouldn't even be making light of that. Devastating moments oh, of life. <laughs> but when you're writing something and you write digitally and lose your writing, oh, that's just as bad. Oh, yeah. You get into one of those kicks. It happens with writing as it does with, with uh, drawing and painting. You get into those modes. Like you're in the mode. You're in that vibe and you're just going. And then all of a sudden you might have a blackout two hours, three hours into it. And you're like, man, I was in such that such a vibe. And then, then after you're like, man, I was in such a good, you know, flow. I'm gonna have to get that back. Then you realize, wait a minute, did I save it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's so heart wrenching. Did I hop on recently, Nelson? Who to me? Yeah. Um, actually. It happened because I I was uh, trying to clean up my desktop because I have a hundred million of everything everywhere, yeah. and I accidentally deleted the folder. Oh, no. The folder I deleted the folder and a bunch of other stuff, and because my files uh, are, and folders are so large, it wouldn't go into my trash bin. It had to be it had to be permanently deleted, yeah. and I was like, yeah, sure. I'm just getting rid of stuff I don't want anyway. And I was like. The next day, I wanted to, to get back to work. And I was like, <gasps> no. It's not Saturday morning. Yeah, we'll talk stuff. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think you remember what I was posting up. I was like, <gasps> and and uh, I had a backup on a portable drive, but it was a few days off. So I had to. I had a few days worth of missing work to catch up with, but a few days missing work is a whole lot better than all of the work missing. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was, that's heartbreaking. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Artwork that is meant to be temporary. That is interesting. Like, I don't know, but pastry chefs, man, they some, they got some artists there, man. If you ever looked and, and looked at, like, uh, fondant molds and, and designs, like, like, personally, I hate fondant. The taste, bleh. But what they do with it, they be making some pretty cakes. I was like, oh, that's so beautiful. You know, they're, they are artists, and that art does not last. Or ice sculptors, you know their art doesn't last. Yeah. Beautiful too. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I don't know. To do something like that, you could only do that art with an audience. I guess the equivalent to losing your work is like having everyone cancel the party and your your sculpture is just melting. Yeah, take as many pictures as you can, boys. It's not going to last forever. No, and you don't have a camera. <laughs> well, oh, well, that's definitely shit. <laughs> yeah, you'll be sitting there, your legs crossed. Hey, what? Wait, hold on. L.A. said you have a hate for pretty food? Why do you have a hate? For pretty food. Oh, he, 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 he sits there and he looks at it and he goes, Ugh, I don't want to eat it. It's too cute. Oh, it's too cute to eat? Is that what it is? 
There's a video of a little boy that does that. Mommy, you made a smiley face and it's too cute to eat. <laughs> if I eat it, I don't want to kill the smiley. I don't ever do that again, Mommy. Oh, that voice you just used was horrifying. Do you use that for your villains? What, that voice? Yeah, that was horrifying. <laughs> I felt I felt lessened somehow by it. Really? Crushed me. I got other voices that are not the you should know that one. <laughs> I know. You love going with those you know, the deep rumbly voices. Ah oh, yes. Welcome to Saturday morning, table talk, little one. Yeah, that is true though, LA. Like fondant. Oh god, I hate fondant. Fondant, like you could do so much cool stuff for making pretty cakes with fondant, but I despise the flavor of fondant. I'm just like <laughs> or or should we say <laughs> I do not like fondant. Fondant is nasty. I'm casting a spell by yelling. Ah! <laughs> are those? Oh, golly, those that's are not part. Of that's not. That's like slobber. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's yelling like he's got the saliva. Yeah, all that saliva coming like yeah. <laughs> That's a new saliva spell. So we have to slang these. Yeah, there's a they have evokers. This is a saliva voker. Uh, so <laughs> I, never mind. I turn it into something. I don't. I don't care. I will turn it into something. He's a salivar a salivarian. That's that's the new player race, salivarians. That is too. That's that's nowhere near the color I want. That's too freaking white. This may be too orange, right? Yeah, this goldish. I'm not gonna sit there and try to get all the nuances of gold. You barely see the coin anyway when you're doing the thing. What was that? Is uh. What was that? That's his, 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 his hocus coin. Yeah. That's the hocus pocus coin. Because you do the hocus pocus and turn yourself about. You should do a picture, Nelson, of Grimrock wrestling with three rules. Wait, Grimrock Wrestling who? Three Wolves. Oh, oh, jeez. I mean, I do have a few full-page artwork things to to do. So maybe that whole, you know, maybe as a comic, you know, like one of um of uh, Warder getting blasted with the lightning and then like falling on top of the, the, the female um, militia woman. And like the smoke of the lightning, and then like pan out so that you see the smoke in the background, and then um, Grim Rock wrestling the giant wolves. That might be interesting. There may be interest in that picture. Woo! Bang! <laughs> yes. Bend to my will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just uh what is cannabis size? Width percent about a buck fifty more. Wow, that is actually just big enough. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's a bit high, but I need to just crop that height out off of it. 
because of Gaha, because of Gaha. Oh, wow. Could you imagine if a burger looked like a castle? Welcome to Burger Castle. Well, actually, they have White Castle, so maybe they thought about that. And the little mini burgers represent the subjects to the kingdom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Compliment the work and not the insanity. It's smart move. <laughs> Uh, I was going to get up and find a broom, but then I got high. Going to get up and clean my room, but then I got high. You, got, you remember that song or are the only one? I don't remember it now. You're the only one that remembers it. Oh, uh, amazing. Actually, let me just. Wow, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be singing that one on here. Bad enough, I know y'all don't want me to sing, but no, I don't want him to sing. No, don't want me to sing, especially not the song that was mentioned in chat. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> No, don't know if you see chat, but if you do, look away. <laughs> look away. <laughs> what's what's a good song? <laughs> Not just a funny song, but a good song. Actually, I'm giving it too much for it. I just need to stay cartoony. <laughs> I, I should have never brought him up. It's my fault. That artist need never be mentioned in public venue that does not have an adult disclaimer <laughs> plastered over it. Over it. Oh, oh, see, now you got me thinking of other songs that I shouldn't be thinking of right now. Just just know. Like, uh-uh. <laughs> Those are the words that are brought to mind. White and nerdy. I, I don't believe I know that one. I don't know. Let's 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 see what uh what songs exist for us to make a good deal of fun of uh, without getting too insane. I didn't do that. What's wrong with me? Uh, 
Okay, now you're pulling out some stuff I don't know. Just saying. Another one. Deeper and deeper in love with you, I'm falling. Sweeter and sweeter. Huh? Or, 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 uh, uh, a chair is still a chair. Even when there's no one sitting there. But a chair is not a house. And a house is not a home when you're not there. Boom. Now and then. I call your see see come on man. Let's go. Let's get some Motown and stuff up in here. It's good music. Hell, there ain't even no cursing in those old songs. The language of ghetto hadn't even been invented yet. Should this just be old arc <laughs> wow sounds good all right peace la now and then i call your name yes sir we don't we're gonna be trying to do encounter maps and map a map I think that one was was easier. This one was easier to do than the last one. Probably because it's way more darks. There's not a light source, a bright light source, both in front of and no, 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 no. Ebonics is not ghetto. Okay. For shizzle, my niz you know what? You, you know what? Ghetto don't fit into a dictionary. Just saying. Webster's, Webster's Guide to Speaking Ghetto. <laughs> That's not a thing. It is not a thing. What are you telling these people, Brian? What are you What are you telling these people? Starting trouble over here. I haven't done anything, I swear. <laughs> could you? Oh, could you? I couldn't do anything on you, Nelson. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. When I saw you in the corner, it wasn't me. On the counter, it wasn't me. Damn it, woman, I said it wasn't me. <laughs> Deny, deny, deny. All right, see, now that I got about half an hour to mess around with this, I'm not going to do another one in half an hour. But I think I'm going to play. Maybe get a little bit more detail out of this without having to really make it more, more of a detailed piece, picture. Yeah, I get some highlights. Well, I'm thinking about the illusion of highlights. Yeah, well, that's what. It, it, yeah, ah, in the way like erasing parts of the uh, cell shade. Yeah. Like. Yeah, see that. That's better. You know, but I got just got to be careful. Which parts I, as a matter of fact, the only ones that make sense are the hairs. Maybe a bit of knuckle. Yeah, because you're you're trying to not overdo it. Yeah, it's the cell shading is really blocky, you know. I really think that's all I I should be doing right there. Well, is that not do? Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. I mean, I really can't complain with it, but 
just wanted to get that, you know, you've got to make sure it's got the oomph. Do you know what I'm saying, laddie? The oomph, laddie, the oomph. Needs the oomph. Well done, Yeti Farm. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Let me just save that as a PNG. What you do is you draw the picture. When you're done drawing the picture of the character that you are drawing, to finalize, you must save it as a PNG. That way, the background transparency is saved along with it to provide layering options. Do you know what layering options are, my friend? Oh, yes, yes, sorry, yes, I do. Yes, good teacher, yes, I, I do know, yes. I do, I, I know, don't. Don't presume to say whether I do or not know. It's, it's not good. It's not a good look for you, is it? Uh, uh, indeed not, no. <laughs> now and then. Hey, are you going to make those smiley faces on those, like, uh, astral? No, no, no. The, uh, the spiritual guardians are supposed to be, the idea is that they're formed from divine energy. And the fact that they don't have a face is so that, you know, maybe you could put a face to them in your own imagination. But those smiley faces you drew oh, were ridiculous. I thought you would love that. And you took that in <laughs> I did. I did love it. It made me laugh. It, it made me snot when I laughed. Like, it was bad. That you snorted when you laughed. <laughs> yeah, like it made me laugh pretty damn hard. You know, but <laughs> see that that one is gonna be I don't know if I can continue drawing. We've only got thirty minutes. I'm not gonna be able to finish this thing in thirty minutes. Well, my laptop is overheating. Absolutely overheating, so I had oh, wow. to stop doing what I'm doing. My laptop cannot take Google Hangouts, and you should save your laptop. And, yeah, don't, I don't destroy the laptop. Save it. You must nurture the laptop. So I think I might do something with Incarnate later. Or yeah, Incarnate is still pretty badass, man. Maybe do another illustration with it or something. Yeah, the things you do, you specifically, the stuff you do with Incarnate is bananas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a lot of things with it that uh, shouldn't be done with that. I wouldn't say shouldn't, but definitely not intended. Oh, well, yeah, not intended. That's the correct word. Well, with your, your laptop uh, overheating and without enough time to, to finish another illustration on my side, uh, I think I think we'll call it at that. Yeah. Let me get my, my wonderful visage. Well, hello. I'm back. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> It was like it wasn't in sync there with the video, and it was like it was a bad dub or something. <laughs> you gotta be like this. Well, welcome back as we talk to this thing here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna end uh, this episode of building character. Um, if you return at uh, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time, or I think it's GMT minus four or whatever it is. Mappa Mappa. Another hangout just like this, but it's dedicated to cartography, 
battle mapping, dungeon mapping, encounter mapping, region mapping, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful mapping. Uh, so you could hop back on this channel at that point in time and have more fun. Until then, my name is still... It's still Nelson. It's what it is. This is Infinite Roleplay. So peace. Toodles.